it wasn't until I downloaded the app that I got so much more out of this PlayStation gaming headset. In today's video, I wanna share with you what truly makes the Headset Companion app so great. First, I wanna walk you through how to download the Headset Companion app, and then I wanna do a deep dive into this Headset Companion app and show you exactly how it's able to take your PlayStation Gold or Platinum headset to the absolute next level. If you enjoy this video or find any part of it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can always stay up to date on my latest helpful PlayStation videos just like these. Let's get right into it. So right out of the box, the Sony Platinum and Gold headsets come with a number of buttons along the ear cup on each side. And they include things such as uh, two preset buttons that you can choose from, uh, a mute button for your mic, a volume switch, a game chat sound audio mix button, and uh, the option to do 3D audio of virtual surround sound for the Platinum headset, but it doesn't really provide that much more than that. Where these headsets really shine is when you download this headset companion app. Downloading this headset companion app allows you to fully customize the sound inside of these headsets and it truly changes the audio experience. I really believe this is an app that PlayStation should have had straight out of the box, but you actually have to find it before you can download it. And here's how to do it. So from the home screen, you wanna go over to the PlayStation Store, and then once you go into the PlayStation Store, you wanna go up to where it says Search, and then now once you're in this alphabet key, you wanna go into Headset, and you may have to type it all the way through, but it'll probably know what you're saying right away. So once you see that it says headset companion app on the right, all you have to do is just go right over to it and select it to download it. it what's cool about this is it is a free app, so you don't have to pay anything extra after you buy this headset, which is awesome. Once you download the headset companion app, you'll then see an icon on your home screen, just like you would with a game or the capture gallery. Then once you have the headset companion app on your home screen, then you're ready to fully customize your PlayStation gaming headset. So when you go into the headset companion app, it'll ask you to select your headset, either the platinum or the gold headset. And at this point, you wanna make sure that your headset is powered on and connected to the USB dongle, connected to the PlayStation console. And then what you wanna do is select your respective headset and then there's so many things that this app has and I wanna kinda of walk through it with you real quick so that you understand it before you get into it. So the first few uh, icons that they show on here are actually custom audio settings that have actually been developed by game studios, the audio developers, so that they're specifically tailored to game titles that either are very similar to the style of game that you're playing or the exact game title that you're playing. I really like the Uncharted audio mode. When I play Uncharted, I think it sounds absolutely amazing because it's got, you can just hear the surround sound really, really well. It's super warm, but also it's got that slight punch to it too. And it's so good that at one point I had to take off my headset because I thought there was actually a sound coming from behind me in real life, but it was actually the game. So it's like super lifelike. Once you've tried out some of these game modes, which sound absolutely awesome, go down to where it says preset modes. You can actually choose preset modes that are more on a general basis, such as explosions or emphasis on uh, dialogue and voice. Or maybe if you listen to your headsets on a lower volume, you can turn on what's called night mode and that actually dynamically boosts the uh, low and the high end so that even when it's on a lower volume, you can still hear things with a lot of uh, boost and emphasis, which is really cool. Under preset mode, you'll then be able to find what's called adjustable EQ. And this is where things start to get really cool. You have three audio modes that you can uh, adjust on the fly. So if you go into one of them, it'll actually allow you to adjust the bass, the mid and the treble from a huge range. So I highly encourage you to also try one of your own custom audio modes so that you can finely tune your audio experience based on the style of game that you're playing. If you're playing a story style game like Assassin's Creed or Uncharted, you may wanna emphasize the lower end of the headset and try that first because I think personally I tried that and it sounds really good when I turned up the bass and lowered the mids a little bit. And you do that by going into fine tune and then you, you can actually use the D-pad to go over to left or right to the bass 
and then select it. And then you use the right joystick to adjust the audio level up or down. And then once you're done with that specific frequency, you can actually move over to the next one with the D-pad. And then once again, use the right joystick to adjust it up or down. And then what's also really cool is they have uh, sample audio clips under it. Especially for uh, first person shooter games like Call of Duty, you can actually test your setting on the fly before you download it to your headset. So for instance, if you really want to hear footsteps and fire really, really specifically, you may want to play with like the treble or the mid settings so that it boosts that so you can hear it as more of like a punchier feel and then test it below with the audio clips that Sony provides you and then adjust it as you go along. Once you're happy with your custom equalizer setting, you then go over to where it says save and then hit X and then that'll save that specific setting to the number of audio mode that you went into. So even though you saved your audio mode, it's not quite downloaded to your headset yet. And this is how you do that. Once you're done with either choosing your custom game mode, your preset audio mode, or your super custom audio mode that you did on one, two, or three, then you can choose the desired one that you want to download into your headset. For the platinum and gold headset, you actually have a choice of storing up to two presets using the switch on the left ear cup. So to do that, you go into your desired audio mode and then you go over to where it says put in headset. Once you choose put in headset, it'll then ask you what slot you want to put that audio mode in. So by default, it'll move your audio mode into slot number one. And if you do it more than once, it'll just fill up the second slot for you. But you can actually go up on the D-pad and select which slot you want to put it in. And you can really have a lot of fun with this because if you, you can have like one preset that is suited for like first person shooter games or more faster paced titles. And then you can have a second one that's based more on uh, like story, story driven games, um, slower paced titles that you want to have like a warmer surround experience with. And then that one you can do like slot number two. So for one, you could have slot one, and then you can flip the switch to slot two when you switch between those games, which is really cool. So you also have another two options down here. One is to just go ahead and download these audio modes to your headset into the preset one and two, or you can go ahead and select another audio mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, the Uncharted audio mode, and by default, that's gonna put it in slot number two. Once you're ready to download your new custom audio modes to your headset, you go down and select store now. So once you select store now, it's gonna run a check on your headset. And then it'll show you slot one and slot two for which audio mode is from which. Once those audio modes are fully downloaded into your headset, you can then go ahead and start playing your games and then you'll be able to switch between your two brand new custom audio presets. If you're wondering how an original equipment headset that's built for the PlayStation specifically, like the Gold or Platinum headset, compares to a third-party headset like the HyperX, I'll leave a video up here for you to check out. It's a comparison of the two headsets and my thoughts on each one. If you enjoy this video and find it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay up to date on my latest PlayStation videos just like these. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.